Man, it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But I'm not in a movie, guys. This is Albany, New York. This area here in downtown is called the Empire State Plaza. Looks really futuristic. It may surprise you to know it was built in 1976. So, geez, getting close to 50 years. Boy, does it look amazing. It cost $2 billion in 1976 to build all this. $2 billion. That's a ton of money now. In 1976? That's insanity. But it sure looks incredible. Now, anchoring the end there is the New York Capitol Building. Beautiful old building. Nicole and I will go there later. And we'll show you around there. Now, but first, let's uh, take a look at this uh, plaza. I'll tell you some more about the city. Now, here's the names of these buildings. Agency 1, Agency 2, Agency 3, and the farthest down, Agency 4. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like I'm in uh, the Logan's Run movie. Uh, across the way is the Corning Tower. This is the tallest building in New York. Outside of New York City, of course. This area was settled in 1611, making this one of the oldest cities in the United States. Could you imagine what some of the people who settled this city over 400 years ago would think if they saw it now? It's amazing. Uh, the town was incorporated in 1686. Uh, yes, this is a very old city. Tons and tons of history. Lots of architecture. Amazing architecture. We'll get into that. Just wanted to uh, make sure you guys got get a good look here. You know, I always want you to feel like you've been here yourself. Uh, I've got the New York, I believe the New York State Museum there. And there's an older part of downtown too that I took a quick drive through. It is beautiful as well. Now there's an observation deck in this building. I'm thinking we should uh, go on up there. What do you guys think? I'm gonna get a look at the inside for sure. Let's see what they got going on here. It's nice and air conditioned. story is behind this. Well, there's only one elevator going up to the observation deck. Boo! Albany, New York. Boo! That is annoying. Sorry guys, not going to be able to give you that. I'm almost at the other end here. I wanted to show you this building real quick. This is called Simply the Egg. Pretty good name for it, isn't it? Here's a closer look at the Capitol Building, the state of New York. It was finished in 1899. It was co-designed by Henry Hobson Richardson. He's my favorite architect. 
along with Frank Lloyd Wright and Lewis Henry Sullivan. He is widely considered one of the three greatest architects this country has ever produced. Now that is the Smith Building there. Well, that was built in 1928. That's the second tallest building in the city. Now that is Art Deco. Quite a striking different, uh, difference than the Capitol Building. All right guys, so over here is Empire State Plaza. And the Capitol Building's right here. If you look across the street, you'll see Albany City Hall. Hopefully you can see it, the sun's directly behind it, the tower there. This was built in 1883 and this was designed by Henry Hobson Richardson. The great architect himself designed this. What a beautiful building. I sure hope the good citizens of Albany recognize what a treasure this is. This is the SUNY building short for State University New York. It is the administration building for the colleges and universities of the state. Completed in 1918, this is Gothic architecture. It is a striking building. Let me give you a look. There's a weather vane at the top. You can see that. That is a replica of the Half Moon. Now, that is a Dutch ship captained by none other than Henry Hudson, whom the Hudson River is named after. Uh, I believe his goal was to find passage to India, but he discovered a lot of places on that trip. Uh, I think he ended up all the way to the Arctic, came back down, and sailed into New York Harbor and sailed all the way up here to Albany. Yeah, it was quite a trip he made. So the building is at the beginning of State Street and that is the State Capitol building at the end there. This is a beautiful street so I'm going to walk up it and show it to you. Well, as I make my way up the street here, I'll give you some numbers. We'll start with the population. Uh, 2023, there's 101,000 people here. Peak population was in 1950. There were 134,000 people then. So the city has lost some population. Pretty big metro though. Metro population is 905,000. Oh, that's pretty good sized. In the first census, the early census, uh, mid 1800s, this was one of the 10 largest cities in the US. Uh, nowhere near that now though. Median age is 32. That's a pretty young town compared to the US median of 39. 51% male, 49% female. Let's see, how about the ethnic breakdown? 51% white, 26% black, 11% Hispanic, 6% Asian. Last 5% mixed or other. It's pretty diverse, isn't it? Median household income, here it is. $51,386 a year. It's just under a thousand a week. Capita, 32,000, a little over, around 600 a week. I'm not even sure what this is, but it is an incredible little building. This is the kind of building I would like to buy. I put a little pub down here. All right, wouldn't this be great? A little pub? I think so. Well, continuing on. Let me give you poverty numbers, and uh, these surprise me a little bit. Poverty overall, 30.3%, but here's the bad one. Children 17 and under, 48%. That means almost half 
the kids here, school-aged children live in poverty, almost half. That is astonishingly high. Unfortunately, we see that pretty often in New York. Uh, Syracuse and Rochester, they've all got really high children's poverty rates as well. In fact, I think Syracuse has got the highest of any big city, uh, kids living in poverty. Anyway, folks 65 and older, let me do that real quick, 21%. Uh, again, that's high. Uh, but what's the cost of living? Well, here's a quick look at the index. It's a 103. A lot lower than the state of New York overall. You see New York's as a state is 117. Uh, healthcare is 7% lower, transportation 3% lower, everything else is higher. So, um, so cost of living, not as bad as the rest of the state. Look at these beautiful buildings here. Now this building in the middle here, uh, called the State Room, built in 1901. This was the city's first skyscraper. You can see it's getting passed up now. But, uh, an iconic building for sure. It's striking, isn't it? You almost hate to see these two buildings on the either side of it because of the design there. Kind of hides it. That's too bad. Ah, uh, let's see. I didn't give you a median home value yet. Two hundred twenty-one thousand one hundred. Let's see. I'm getting closer to the capital. Buildings right up here. This is St. Peter's Church, built in 1876. That is Gothic. You can't miss this downtown. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I wonder if we can go inside. I'll give it a whirl. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. Some awesome looking doors, aren't they? Look at that. Oh, but they're locked. We don't get to see this church. Sorry, guys. Uh, one last number to tell you about. And these are pretty bad. This is the crime numbers. Now here's the chart. Total crime, 47.11 per 100K. That compares to 23, 24 for the U.S. Crime here is twice higher, a little over. That's pretty, pretty high. It would put it up there in the rankings. Not top 20, but up there. Look at violent crime. 930 per 100K. That's, geez, getting close to triple the U.S. of 370. And then property crime, 370.82 per 100K. Uh, U.S. is 1954, so that's actually less than half. But, um, yeah, crime, that is clearly a problem here. I hate to see it because the city's pretty beautiful. And I'm walking along here on the main, you know, the main street of the city. It's clean, isn't it? I mean, not seen any graffiti, not seen any trash. I haven't even seen any homeless people. I'm sure they're here, but I haven't seen any. Not on the grounds of the Capitol, not anywhere. Well, I've made it to the other side of the street. You can see the SUNY building. Can you see it down there? City Hall. And of course, they're astonishingly beautiful. State Capitol building. Well, I was making my way back to the car, and there's the New York Plaza again. And I was walking by this, and I very well couldn't just walk past it and not show it to you guys. Now, this is the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. This is built in 1852. 
this is Gothic architecture. Looks like they're doing some renovations to it here. But guess what? We can go inside here. The cathedral is open. All right. So I'm going to get to show you guys the inside of a beautiful church after all. Let's go check it out. What do you think? Ooh. show you that what did I say this was built 1856 1852 incredible it's 170 something or 170 years old to love her Tell you what, people sure knew how to build things then, didn't they? Let's get up here and give you a closer look. Well, I don't know about you guys, but all I can say is wow. All right. Well, let's see, guys. I'm in the Arbor Hill neighborhood. According to the uh, interweb, this is the oldest neighborhood in town. So I thought I would come take a look. sure if it's uh, what I expected yeah. this is uh, definitely an older part of town isn't it Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if anybody lives in those. I think they do. Anyway, well, interesting. I'm in another very old neighborhood. Got a bunch of row houses here. You see these a lot in the east. The eastern part of the U.S. Nothing like this in Texas, that's for sure. Very different. Here's another street of row homes. It's really nice, isn't it? As many of you know, Nicole was born and raised in Philadelphia. And she grew up in a row home. Very similar to these. 
She talks about it quite a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab Nicole. We'll check out the Capitol. And uh, we'll have something to eat at a local restaurant. All right, I've got Nicole with me. And we are on our way to this incredible Capitol building. All right, well, we're gonna see if we can just walk in the front door. What do you think? There's a sign that says entrance right here. All right, so here we go. It looks like there is security, so uh, I'm gonna go do that first. Well, we are inside. Let's get her passport stamped first. This is called the Great Western Staircase. It uses is that sandstone from Scotland. Well, it is amazing, isn't it? The lighting makes it a little spooky. What's that? The lighting makes it somewhat spooky. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Well, it just keeps going up. Mm -hmm. See, look at all that. Dang. I mean, there's elevators, but who wants to take an elevator when you can walk upstairs like this? Wow. It does look like a castle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That intricate detail. Here all around the staircase, they have uh, sculptures of many of, the, yeah, many of the important Americans of the time. Uh, Lincoln's supposed to be here somewhere, and I think Washington. Not sure where. I'm thinking this must be either the Senate or the House. Look at these light fixtures. The stained glass windows. Ooh, spectacular, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now here's another hallway in the building. <laughs> it is just amazing. We just stumbled upon this room here. Look at this ceiling. Since found out what this room is, it's called the War Room. You can see that now, can't you? That's a pretty violent scene. Another one here. Yeah, another one here. the Hall of Governors. Yeah, got a timeline along the uh, wall here. This is a pretty awesome looking hall. 
Here's a portrait of Roosevelt. Uh, the 33rd governor of the state. Of course, went on to become president. This is Franklin Roosevelt. 44th governor. Future president. I like how they put uh, the presidential seal above the placards of the governors who became president. Uh, here's Grover Cleveland. Governor of New York, 28th. Also became president. We are going to eat at a place here in downtown Albany called the Old English Pub. We've been told that it's good. Well, we're going to find out. Isn't that right, Anna? Set here at the bar. I'm going to have a local beer called Speckled Pig My Boy Blue. And it is a blueberry pilsner. And it tastes really good. It smells awesome. It's got a great smell when you take a drink. Are you sure? Because it just looks like a big cup of coffee. Nope. You can smell that blueberry when you, uh, you know, bring the glass up for a drink. It's really good. Anyway, we are having an appetizer, uh, sausage rolls, seasoned pork, pastry, pub mustard. Let's take a quick look at the restaurant. That's pretty cool. The little fireplace in front of it. Yeah, this is very uh, old English style. It was opened by a guy from England who was homesick for an English-style pub, so he bought this uh, spot and built it. Uh, the building this pub is in has been here since the early 1700s. Wow, the early 1700s? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was a home first, then uh, became a pub later. Oh, okay. That's craziness. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, here's the sausage rolls. It's a lot of food there. And they smell, yeah, they smell really good. Now let's check them out. Well, here's what we think. The sausage has a lot of flavor. It is really good. It's very good. And I like the sauce here on top. Yeah, that adds a lot to it. Flaky pastry. Perfect. That part's cooked perfectly. Yeah, the, the pastry is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a lot of seasoning in the sausage. It kind of reminds me of like Italian sausage, I would say the seasonings are. Yeah. But it's very, very, very good. Yeah. Lots and lots of flavor. Well, since we're in an English style pub and their specialty is fish and chips. That's I knew you were going to do that. I haven't had fish and chips in a while. So, yeah. yeah right. Fish and chips. <laughs> You're having a lot. You have fish and chips more often than I have salmon. Uh, yes, I think I'm just going to get a grilled chicken sandwich. Um, okay. I'll have the honey mustard on the side, and I'll get it with a side salad. All right, there you go. All right, our entrees are here. Here's my fish and chips. Looks good. And your chicken sandwich with a salad, grilled chicken. That looks good too. Hmm. It looks good. All right. All right, guys. Here's the thoughts on the food. Yeah, I don't like coleslaw, so I can't tell you about that. French fries, normal French fries you can buy at Walmart. Fish and chips is really good though. Awesome breading. Uh, the cod tastes really good. Tartar sauce is good too. Tastes homemade. Mine, mine I mean, it's, it's a simple grilled chicken sandwich, but I thought it was a very good grilled chicken sandwich. The bacon was outstanding, the chicken was juicy, and the bun is really good too. So, yeah, it was a very good chicken sandwich. I haven't made it to the salad because I'm getting a little full, but even that looks very good too. Sometimes you get a side salad, side salad that's really sad looking. This is a nice, you know, nice looking side salad. Well, you're just going to take the salad back to the room, right? Eat that later? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Alright guys, here's the tab. Seventy-five, sixty. That's the cheap, cheapest we've uh, done in quite a while, isn't it? Yeah. Un under a hundred dollars.
All right, so there's the tag. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. We are heading down to Delaware next. So we will see you there.